Hey guys, it's uh, Linux Benchmarks here, and um, in today's video, I wanted to do a small, like, quick tutorial of how to set up League of Legends on Linux, as um, League of Legends actually does work on Linux through Proton um, slash Wine. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be using bottles. Um, you can use Lutris, but bottles is my preferred way of setting up like a uh, Windows application or games. So the first thing that you want to do uh, is get bottles. So you want to go to your Discover store or GNOME software store, or you can go to the terminal as well. Uh, but for me, it's going to be the Discover store and you want to just search for bottles. And there'll be two options here on Discover if you're on Fedora. Um, there's the RPM version of bottles, which is not the one we want to pick as it's not the official maintained package of bottles. Um, you want to grab the flat pack version of bottles. And this is where like you'll get the latest updates of bottles from the official maintainers. So you just want to download this and after it's done downloading, you know, you want to launch it and it will come up with a welcome screen uh, it won't look like this or come up with a welcome screen that you go through these steps of like setting up bottles and it will set it up for you um, and after you're done uh, you want to go to preferences uh, and this is where like you'll grab things like your runners so you grab like you know your wine ge um, or if you want to grab like what we're going to grab is the lutris ge league of legends build um, which we'll actually do right now as this is something that i was going to say for you guys to do um, if you want to play League of Legends, you're going to have to grab the Luchus GE LOL um, build. And as you can see here, it's done installing. Um, and, you know, if you want to grab any others, like usually um, for like Overwatch, like for Blizzard or EA or Ubisoft, you want to grab the Wine GE Proton 8, uh, 8 build or whatever is the latest Wine GE build. And after that's done, um, I would also probably grab just in case, if you're on NVIDIA, um, I would probably suggest grabbing the DXVK Async 2.0 um, as some games will stutter like Overwatch. And to solve that, you need to grab the Async build of DXVK and then use a environment variable um, called DXVK Async equals one. Um, but if you're on AMD, you should be fine if you're above Mesa 23.1. If you're not above um, at least Mesa 23, then I suggest that you um, either try and upgrade Mesa to at least 23 and use an environment variable or try and um, upgrade to Mesa 23.1, which is pretty easy on most Ubuntu based distros or any any other like LTS distro that doesn't get like uh, bleeding edge updates. So after that's done, um, you want to create a bottle. You want to select gaming and you want to call the bottle whatever you want, because it doesn't really matter. Um, for me, I'll just do lol for example and it will create it the first time you create a bottle it'll probably take a while as there's a lot of um, dependencies that need to be downloaded um so then afterwards um for me it creates it pretty quickly and basically um that's it for creating the bottle you want to go into settings now and you want to go to your runner this is where you change your runner for like different like i don't know if you want a game to work um because i would not suggest using soda as they haven't updated it yet um, and there's some issues with like playing Overwatch on it and probably some other things. Um, but as we can see here, we've got the Lutris GE LOL 8.7-1. So we want to use that, wait for that to finish. Um, there's some other things to change, like switching this to F-Sync, enabling uh, Feral Game Mode as well. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, enabled now. And like I said before, if you're using the Async build, then I would switch the DXVK to the DXVK 2.0 async and then scroll all the way down, go to environment variables and then type in caps, uh, DXVK underscore async, click the tick and then add a value of one. This is for NVIDIA cards. Um, you may not get stutters on League of Legends. I don't really know um, if that happens. Um, if it does though, then I would suggest you switch to DXVK async um, the latest async build and then add this environment variable and you'll be good to go and you'll get no more stutters basically but for amd users we don't have to do this as we'll use the graphics uh, pipeline from meso so the next thing is to grab uh, league of legends as in the install programs there isn't a league of legends installer uh, here so for me you just want to go to the league of legends.com website and you want to click download um, and 
you want to select your correct region as well as there's different League of Legends builds for each region. So for me, I'm from Oceana. And so you want to click download, download for Windows, and it'll grab the .exe. I've already got it here. And then you want to run a executable. Um, this is where you like, you you know, if you want to test like a .exe of a app or a game, um, or you want to, you know, set up like League of Legends or maybe like the Rockstar launcher for playing, you know, Rockstar games. Um, then yeah, you would do it here. So as you can see here, install League of Legends OCE1.exe. We select that. It's going to launch it for us. As you can see here, it's loading the right games um, installer. You want to click install and it's going to install the right games launcher for you. And as we can see here, it is now launched. And uh, if you haven't already, you should create a Riot Games account. I do have a Riot Games account. Um, so I'm going to put my username in. And then it will uh, download uh, the application for League of Legends. I don't know why it's like this, honestly. I don't know why this could just be the launcher. But for some reason, they have like a separate League of Legends uh, application on top of the Riot Games launcher. Really odd. And as we can see here, now you can just like click play and it should launch a, as you can see here, a separate <coughs> um, League of Legends application. And this is where it will download basically like another, I think it's like 10 to 20 like gigs or something like that. Um, it's installing like the game client now um, and that doesn't take that long. But as you can see here, the app is working like perfectly fine. As we can see here, we've got the game uh, booted up. We're in like training mode at the moment. And um, I've uncapped the FPS as well. And we're getting, uh, I don't know, like 350 FPS roughly. But yeah, that's what they want. So I can turn this a wood on them. So now we're just like pop and attack this, I guess. Destroy it. If you guys um, like the video, you guys can give it a like. And comment down below if you have any issues as well with the you game. Wait for more and, um, yeah, catch you guys in the next one.